Now as the JIRA administrator, we'll use project roles in the permission scheme. In the last lab, we updated the dev permission scheme so only members of the development group could create issues. The JIRA administrator needs to create more projects where only the members of the project should be able to create issues. But instead of creating individual permission schemes for each project, we'll update the dev permission scheme to use a project role instead of a group. That way, different users can be in the role in different projects, so we can share the one permission scheme. First, we'll create a project role. We're now logged in as the JIRA administrator Dakota Jones. We'll use our handy dot or period shortcut to navigate to the project roles JIRA administration page. Project administrators can add users to project roles, but they can't create new project roles. This needs to be done by a JIRA administrator. Here we see the default project roles. We see the administrator's role for administrators in a project. There's also the Atlassian Add-ons Project Access role that provides project permissions to apps or add-ons. You also see two roles associated with JIRA Service Desk projects. Notice that each role has a Manage Default Members link. When you create a project, JIRA automatically will assign any of these default members to the project role. The default members can be users and or groups. Let's scroll down to the Add Project Role section. We'll call our new role members and give it a description and click Add Project Role. We can see the new members project role now appears on the page. We won't define any default members, as the members will be different for each project this is used in. 